so hi everyone today we are going to see an assembly language program so the program is write an assembly language program to transfer block of five data from the memory location 3000h to 4000h so we are asked to write an assembly language program to transfer block of five data from 3000h to 4000h here we are going to write the assembly language program these are some registers of the microprocessor and this is the memory the memory resides outside of the microprocessor so in the question there are five data block of five data is already stored from the 3000h so from the 3000h to 3004h the block of five data are already stored we are asked to transfer this block of data from 3000h to 4000h so this five data should be transferred to 4000h onwards so data which is stored in the 3000h should be transferred to 4000h data which is stored in the 3001 should be transferred to 4001 3002 to 4002 3003 to 4003 and 3004 to 4004 we can perform this program using two simple instructions that is lda and sta let's see so first of all we have to transfer data from the 3000h to 4000h so we will use the instruction lda 3000h so when we write the lda 3000h the data which is stored in the 3000h will be transferred to accumulator so in the accumulator there will be the data 32h after that we have to move this data to 4000h so we will use the instruction sta 4000h so sta 4000h it means in the 4000h the data will be stored after that we have to move data from the 3001 to 4001 so we will use the again the same instruction lda 3001h when we write the lda 3001h the data from the 3001 will be transferred to accumulator so in the accumulator we will get 43h then we will store the data to 4001h so this 43h will be stored to 4001h same way we have to write this instructions a uh, few times so let's write instructions lda the next will be lda 3002h sta 4002h then lda 3003h sta 4003h lda 3000 4h and sta 4004h so you can see that and after the program ends we are going to write the call it means this is the end of the program uh, so you can see that the program is very simple but i am not suggesting you to follow this method why because for transferring the block of five data we have to write this many instructions suppose in the exam suppose you are asked to transfer block of 100 data in that case you are not going to follow this method because you can imagine that how many lda and st instructions will be used so we are going to perform the same program using different method we are going to perform the same program using pointers so let's see how we can solve the same program now let's solve the same problem with different approach now we are going to solve the same program uh, using pointers so you can see that there are some registers that we are going to use there is a register b accumulator h l and t in the register b we are going to store the size of the block in this example the size of the block is 5 so we are going to store 5 in the register b if the size of the block is 10 then we will store 10 to the register b we are going to use the hl as source memory pointer what is the meaning of source memory pointer it means the memory location from where we have to receive the data to the microprocessor and d will be used as destination memory pointer it means in the d pair 
we are going to store a memory location to which we have to store the data okay so let's initialize the register b it is a counter register so to load the data into register b we will use the instruction mvi b 05h it means in the register b we have initialized the counter that is 05h after that we have to initialize the de and the hl pair the hl is known as the source pointer it means in the hl we are going to store the memory location from which we have to receive the data to the microprocessor so for that we will use the instruction l x i h 3000 h it means in the hl we have load the value 3000 h we have to initialize the d pair d is the considered as destination memory pointer so what is the destination memory pointer it is a 4000 h so we will initialize the d d lxi d with 4000 h so when we use this instruction lxi d 4000 h in the d pair the 4000 h will be stored okay so we have initialized all the registers that are necessary so this portion is only for the initialization now we have to transfer the data from the 3000h to 4000h to transfer data from 3000h to accumulator we will use the instruction mov a comma m mov a comma m it means load data to accumulator from the memory location which memory location specified in hl pair so in hl pair 3000h is specified in the 3000h what is data 32h so this 32h will be transferred to the accumulator now we have to move this 32h to 4000h so we will use the instruction stax we will use the instruction stax d stax d it means store data from accumulator to memory location specified in de pair in de pair which memory location specified 4000h so when this instruction is executed the data will be transferred from the accumulator data will be transferred from the accumulator to the memory location specified in de pair so what is specified in de pair 4000h so in the 4000h the 32h will be stored so from the block of five data we have successfully moved one data it means the value of the counter should be decremented now now before decrementing the value of the counter we are going to increment the value of the pointer because the data is transferred from the 3000 to 4000h now we have to increment the value of hl and d because for the next time we have to move data from the 3001 and transfer to the 4001 so to increment the value of hl we will use the instruction i and x h i and x h it means increment the content of hl pair by 1 so it will become 3001 i and x we will use the next instruction i and x d it means increment the content of d pair by 1 so now the source pointer is pointing at 3001 and the destination is 4001 now from the block of five data one data is transferred so we have to decrement the content of b as well so for that we will use d c r d c r b d c r b it means the value of the b will be decremented to 4 now how many time we have to perform this operation until the value of b becomes zero now after the dcr b instruction we are going to use the instruction chum not zero loop and i will specify the loop here now let's see what is the meaning of chum not zero loop after performing the dcr b instruction suppose Uh, right now we have performed the dcr b so value of b is changed from 5 to 4 so value of b is changed from 5 to 4 it means the zero flag is not set so when zero flag is not set the this instruction will transfer the whole control to the loop 
so again the all the instructions will be executed from the loop so again the this instruction will perform that is mov a comma m so what is the value of the hl pair it is the 3001 so data will be moved from the 3001 to the 3001 to the accumulator then stxd it means this 43 h will be stored to 4001 because in the de pair the 4001 is stored again inx h will be executed so it will become 3002 inx d it will become 4002 dcr d it means the value of b will become 3 after that jump node 0 loop so the program will again shift to loop we will jump to loop why we are jumping to loop because after decrementing the value of b the zero flag is not set so we will perform this loop until the zero flag is set right now the zero flag is not set the value of the zero flag is zero Okay, the program will be transferred to loop. So again, this instruction will be executed MOV M comma A. So from the 4002, sorry. So again, this instruction will be executed MOV A comma M. So from the 3002, data will be transferred to accumulator. Then it will be stored to 4002. Again, INX H. So INX H, it means it will 3003. INX D, it will become 4003. Again, DCR D, so it will become 2. Then jump node 0, loop. So again, the this loop will be executed. Again, M2 A, so the data will be transferred to accumulator, then it will store to, then again, value will be incremented. Again, the value will be decremented jump node 0 loop again data will be moved that is 0 9 data will be stored to 4004 the value of h and m will be incremented so 3005 4005 dcr b so the value of b will become 0 now dcr b it means the value of the b is become 0 so the zero flag is set now what is this instruction jump node 0 to loop jump not zero to loop it means when the value of the zero flag is zero then it will jump to loop when the value of the zero flag is one so program will be not transferred to loop and it will skip this instruction and after that we will use the instruction hold so you can see that the length of the program will be same if you are transferring block of 10 data or 100 data or 1000 data okay and this is how it's done now if you have understand this program you have to perform the same program with minor changes you have to transfer block of data from 3000h to 4000h and the size of the block is again 5 but you have to transfer the block of the data in reverse order it means the data from the 3000h should be stored to 4004 data from the 3001 should be stored to 4003 so you have to transfer the block of data from the 3000 h to 4000 h but in the reverse order okay and this is it